Hello everybody and welcome to the Dwarf Fortress Arena. In this video we're going to be facing off dwarves versus a giant zombie elephant, and then of course increasing the numbers until one side wins or loses. Now, with this initial fight, as I do with all of my fights, my dwarves are going to be legendary in everything, so maximum possible skills, alongside of wearing and wielding adamantine gear. On the left, of course, we have a giant zombie elephant corpse. So, now without further ado, let's dive into the action. The literal second I unpause the game, the dwarves dive onto the elephant, and you can see bits and pieces kind of flying everywhere. The dwarves are terrified while in conflict, and if we actually jump over here to the combat logs, you can tell that the elephant isn't doing much. It's actually missing the majority of its fit, uh, the majority of its attacks, and pieces of the elephant have already flown off, which is honestly a really, really bad sign for our elephant here. Meaning, I think our dwarves, at least in this initial fight, definitely have the advantage, because as you can see, the majority of the dwarves slashes, which are the the kind of uh, bluish ones are definitely colliding with the obstacle and they are impaling their swords into it and pulling them out and causing grievous wounds and most of the red hits which are the elephants are all missing so once we unpause and un repause a little bit here you can actually see that its guts are hanging out which is also a really bad sign uh, that, that being said it is still uh, all together and all of the dwarves are still alive up in the top left of the screen you can actually see the number of dwarves uh, alive and then teeth start flying everywhere unfortunately these are not dwarven teeth these are teeth that belong to the elephant as you can can see as I hover over it there. Now once we follow the elephant here and unpause again, the dwarves are just fighting in rapid combat and the frame rate, fortunately, unlike the giant uh, whale fight we did, uh, the frame rate is actually staying nice and high, so unlike uh, the, the previous one, the fight's playing out at a normal speed. Uh, the dwarves are getting a little bit tired, you can see some of them getting knocked back here and there's actually blood appearing on the ground. This is dwarf blood, so this is bad for us. However, that being said, the, the elephant still isn't in the best shape. Uh, we have lost two dwarves up in the top left. You can see two uh, dwarves' numbers have gone down. The number is now down to eight. And uh, the dwarves are getting all overexerted, which is why they're getting kicked back like Dwarf 9 here just did. Uh, when they get overexerted, they fall down, and then they get knocked backwards, and that's really bad for uh, Dwarven longevity. We're now down to three dwarves. We've taken a couple more hits, and this is looking real bad for the initial dwarven fight, which means we may need to um, give them a, a second chance um, because because this overexertion and them falling asleep is uh, truly going to be their downfall. And uh, they're with... Uh, okay, the last fight's ju just about over here, and that's that's it. On to the next one. So before the fight itself starts, as you can see up in the top left, I've increased the number of dwarves up to 30 from the initial 10. So I've given them 20 more extra hands and swords, of course. Stats are all exactly the same, they're all still using adamantine gear. And now it's just a matter of getting this fight underway. And as we unpause the game, the elephant just kind of appears to fly to pieces. Well, okay, so I guess the elephant needs some assistance, because it appears that 30 fully decked out dwarves is more than enough to take out an undead giant elephant, whereas a single undead giant elephant was too much for 10 dwarves. So that, I guess by that logic, I, I would assume that 15 to 20 dwarves could probably take out an undead giant elephant. But let's give it some more assistance and see how it fares. Round three begins, and we now have two uh, giant undead elephants on the left side of the screen, whereas on the right side of the screen, we still only have 30 dwarves. So, same as before. Uh, 30 dwarves versus two giant undead elephants this time. Dwarves are still all legendary and are still using adamantine gear. So now we unpause the game and see how things go. I'm going to be doing a little bit of feather pausing on the space bar while we're doing this and kind of selecting dwarves and seeing how things are. Uh, Giant uh, elephant number one goes down almost immediately, and as we check the combat logs here, you can see that versus elephant number two, it looks like the dwarves are doing pretty much what they did that first time, where it's almost all entirely hits, and I guess, like, at this point, it's just up between us and our overexertion. Whether or not the dwarves get overexert, if they can keep either uh, in a martial trance or handle the exertion, then I'm sure the dwarves will be fine in this fight. Bits and pieces start to fly everywhere, fingers crossed that they have more luck than the first time, and we can continue to see bones and teeth and bits of this giant elephant fly onto the battlefield uh, up upon checking the combat logs. It doesn't look like we've lost any more dwarves because our number's still up to 30. And scanning through, it does look like the majority of our hits are landing, which is what we want to see. The dwarves are definitely not overexerted yet. They still have the little uh, thumb, like, uh, muscle arms above their heads. And there goes the second one. Well, I guess that means on to round three. 
Round three of the Dwarves versus Giant Elephant Extravaganza. Well, Giant Zombie Elephant Extravaganza. So now we have five, one, two, three, four, five Giant Zombie Elephants versus 30 Dwarves. Because they've done quite well against them up until this point, unpausing the game, uh, things collide quite quickly. I'm doing a little bit of feather pausing again, unpausing and repausing. We are seeing some bones, and these do belong to the Zombie Elephants and not my Dwarves, which is definitely a benefit for our future chances of not becoming unlifed. And then as we uh, continue to pile onto these uh, giant elephants, they do flicker between uh, being on top of the dwarves because there's a lot of sprites stacking and Dwarf Fortress is weird about sprite stacking. So we do have dwarves on top of giant elephants and uh, it appears that well, most of the hits seem to be going in our favor. Most of the elephants are missing. Uh, I haven't seen a single hit just yet, just misses, and then swords getting embedded into the giant elephants, probably why there's so many teeth and bones going everywhere. And uh, we've one of the uh, elephants is down up in the top left. You can see that it has gone down, because that number is now down to four. And uh, it appears that generally the dwarves are doing quite well in the combat logs as well. So now that the game is unpaused again, things are just kind of moving forward. We can see dwarves starting to get that little overexerted uh, thought above their head, that tiny little white face with the little blank eyes, and there is some blood appearing that's definitely dwarven. That's not a good sign. Let's uh, scan through these combat logs and take a peek. We can see that Dwarf 29 is doing quite well. Dwarf 13 is getting hits in, 27 is getting hits in, and so is 20. But uh, we haven't lost any dwarves yet. We are down to two zombie elephants, one zombie elephant, and that's it. Round three is now complete. Let's give these uh, elephants a buff and see what they can handle. So far, I would say, as long as you have about 30 dwarves with good gear, you're golden. Well, here we go with potentially the last round. We'll see how much further this goes, but we do have elephants on the screen, eight of them, eight giant zombie elephants, which is usually around the size of a pack. They're usually between four and eight, in my experience, on the on the actual in-game map, and one of them goes down almost immediately, still the same dwarves set up, uh, still the same gear, still the same skills. Uh, still, the combat logs look very similar to previous rounds, where all of our hits are colliding, and the vast majority of the uh, elephants' hits are missing, and uh, bits and pieces begin to fly right away. This is starting to look very similar to previous fights. We're down to six elephants almost immediately, down to five elephants, four elephants. Okay, so far so good. I am. I did see one flash of a dwarf who's getting a little tired. Three elephants are left on the screen, and two elephants are now left on the screen, but the dwarves are getting overexerted, which is the death nail for the dwarves usually. Blood is starting to appear on the ground, and that's bad. And, uh-oh, there's one elephant left. I want, is this going to be the one that breaks the dwarves back? Because, geez, they've been hanging out so well up until this point fighting against these elephants and doing quite a good job against them. This is kind of impressive. Is it is it really going to take them out at this point? No, so the, we do have the game paused, and I'm kind of skipping skimming through, and they are all overexerted. We're now unpaused again, and the fighting continues, down to 27 dwarves, 26 dwarves, uh, 25 dwarves. It looks like we are losing them, and they are dying mostly to bleeding. Uh, so I guess they're getting overexerted, and then whatever that elephant has left, it's just goring them. Okay, so it looks like ah, I don't want to jump ahead too much, but this might be it for our dwarves here. Let's see if some of them can, like, rest up mid-fight and take this thing out. Because some of them are still fighting. Not all of them are overexerted. There there still is some little, uh, like, strong arm images above their heads, which means they are still in the midst of fighting. But, the, the, oop, there's one that feels sick. That's what that little blue face means. Uh, we're down to... Uh, well, we're into the teens, 15, 16 uh, dwarves left, so more of them are getting struck down. Uh, dwarves are still fighting, and the combat logs we do see here it still look pretty steady in our favor. They are still fighting it. I, you'd think that they'd be able to take it out at this point, but man, overexertion is like one hell of a debuff once the dwarves actually start getting hit by it. Uh, the fighting continues, and we're seeing more overexertion. Dwarves getting knocked back. The thing is kicking them, it looks like. That's... That's real bad. We got oh, and more dropping down. We're down to 12 dwarves at this point, which is kind of brutal. The game is still running at full frame rate, meaning like whatever this thing is actually doing to kill them, it's pretty slow. I would assume it's like actually just straight up rolling on them. We're down to nine dwarves now, uh, eight, seven, and more of them are getting kicked back, uh, probably drowned down to six in a moment. The thing is actually moving, so we haven't completely destroyed its ability to move and fight with us. Uh, and it's down to five dwarves. Uh, boy, four dwarves, three dwarves. And then there goes the last few. Well, so I guess if you have 30 dwarves fully trained with decent gear, or ideally optimal gear, I would say steel or better, uh, you should be able to take this out. And I, on the last video I did, I had some people critiquing saying I should have used Warhammers. Yeah, I get that, but 
I, I want to keep things standard for these tests. So for swords with dwarves, unless, as long as there's less than seven of them and you have 30 dwarves that are using steel gear or better, you should be good. Uh, 30 dwarves probably with just about any gear it looks like can take out at least one. So there is that, that is worth mentioning. Now, I think that, the, that that brings us to the end of this video, so it's time to fi finish up the final ceremony of these kinds of events where I set everything on fire, but I just wanted to say real quick, if you're wondering where all of the very long live stream recordings on this channel have gone, uh, they've moved over to a different channel, which is uh, youtube.com uh, at blind extras. There's a link down in the description of this video as well if you would like a link to that. And if, if you would like to, uh, of course, support me directly, you can do that via my Patreon or by buying a piece of merch. Two brand new pieces of merchandise just went up today so it is worth taking a peek or at least at the as the time of recording which i think was yesterday now but thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one